Welcome to the first episode of Rated R for Revenue. We are so excited to share our very first episode with you. Um, just to give you an idea of how we got here, why we're doing this together, and what you can expect from this podcast. Um, so I love it when Marley talks about, I'm Becca, by the way. <laughs> I am a business and money mentor um, for female entrepreneurs. And I, I'm going to let Marley introduce herself, but I love to hear Marley's story on how we met because it, it makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> Do you mind sharing, Marley? <laughs> of course. I love telling this story. Uh, so I'm Marley. I'm a business mentor and coach and love, love, love talking about offers and messaging and all things strategy. So we let me tell you how we accidentally met and now almost two years later have become, I mean, the best of friends and business partners and all the things. And um, basically, I had hired a coach who at the beginning of our relationship, didn't know what I did exactly. And I had told her that I took a program to learn about evergreen offers. So she assumed that I taught evergreen offers. And Becca was looking at the time to get into evergreen offers. So she connected the two of us thinking I could give her some advice and just, you know, chit chat, um, sort of mutual friends. And so the second we got on our Zoom call, <laughs> We learned pretty quickly that, oh, I don't do that, but I have some experience. And so that just was like a really funny way for us to um, just to meet and obviously kick off a relationship with laughter, which I think pretty much sums up how we spend our days. Um, and yeah, and so we really quickly learned about one another and what we do. And we just instantly clicked and have built really, um, I, I would say collaborative businesses alongside one another over the last two years and supported one another and coached one another. Um, and so it's been a, a ton of fun. And basically what happened after that was Becca and I ended up coaching one another. And that also happened somewhat accidentally. The beginning of that was, uh, you know, after our initial chat was I, I was watching her stories one day and I had heard a little bit from her about her program, Mind Her Business. And I could hear her explaining her offer and I could hear that she was kind of trying to justify almost her offer. And it felt like she was over explaining what she did. And I was a fairly new coach at the time and I didn't have a lot of confidence, but instantly hearing about Becca, hearing Becca talk about her program, I was like, I can help her. I know how to simplify how she's talking about her offer right now. And so I very sheepishly and tried to be very respectful, um, reached out to her and just said, Hey, like, would you mind if I gave you some, some tips? I think I could really help you, um, simplify your marketing. And you were very gracious and excited to, to hear what I had to say. And that was, that was the beginning of us, um, working together. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'll take any help I can get. <laughs> I was not even a little bit offended. Um, and it was honestly, when you think about someone coming to you and saying, hey, I noticed this about the way that you're speaking about your offer, it actually shed some light on on like an angle that you don't consider, right? You don't consider how other people are viewing it. You're mostly considering how you are you are portraying it to somebody. Um, so I'm so thankful that Marley reached out. I sold a lot of seats in that round <laughs> because of Marley. Um, and because she was bold enough to say, Hey, I could help you if you want some help with that. Um, I don't want you guys to miss this part because I think that we have had really, really hard days in the last two years, both of us in our business, um, professionally, but also behind the scenes personally and to have someone who you know is in your corner, who is there when you're not making sales, who is there when you are crushing it with sales, who's there to help you work on your offer or work on your messaging or work on whatever gaps you feel like you have in your business or to literally just snap you out of your funk. If you don't have a person like that, I 10 out of 10 recommend <laughs> you have to have a person like that that you're not paying. Marley and I are not like we worked with each other, but if we're going to be really honest, we bartered services. That's where we were in the beginning of our businesses. 
And it turned out to be so much better than either one of us could have ever imagined. So if you need a business partner, bestie, whatever you want to call it, go look for one. Go look for one. Um, I don't think that either one of us would be this far in business had we not found each other. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, it, it, we've been calling one another our business bestie for the last two years because it's, it's literally that it's being able to call up your best friend when you're having a great day. And when you're having a not so great day and, you know, no matter where someone is at in business, there are both great and not so great days, um, which you and I are, are very well <laughs> attuned to at this point. Um, and just having somebody to be able to share those with. Um, regardless of which end of that spectrum you're on has been really, really important, I think, for our just our emotional stability throughout growing businesses and our confidence. And um, yeah, it's just been absolutely a game changer for both of us as new business coaches two years ago to getting to this place where we're launching a podcast and have multiple offers and have worked with so many amazing clients. And um, there's just been so much growth that has come from having a business bestie in your corner. As we are talking about this, Marley, it, that's, that's the vision that we have for this podcast to be people's business besties, to talk about the things that, um, are not always Instagrammable, right? Talk about the days. How many days have I voxered you or Instagram videoed you crying because it's just been a no good, horrible, terrible day. Like Because we've got another sick toddler at home for the right. 23rd week in a row. Yeah. Or, you know, I mean, there's just been so much. And I think I know for a fact that is one of the guiding factors about why we decided to do this podcast together. Um, we think it's important for everybody to have that person. And we would love to be those people for you if you don't have a person or even if you already do have a person. Um, we would love for this podcast to really add value to you every single day, to remind you what you're capable of, to remind you that money can be made easily. You can keep a lot of the money that you're making, that you can still move your business forward even when you have a toddler at home sick for the eighth, the eighth week in a row <laughs> with a different virus, um, when you're when the seasons of your life are really hard, you mm. can still move your business forward in certain ways. And we would love to bring you on that journey and show you how it's possible. Yeah, I, I we have so many stories we could tell. Like you wouldn't believe the things that we've both just it's um I always think now when I tell a client that my kid's homesick again that they must think I'm lying at this point. <laughs> like it must sound like I'm making it up again. Um, but that's you know, that's just life with a toddler and running a business and working from home. There are so many things that that we just don't talk about enough and see enough from people that are ahead of us, um, just shedding light on what's normal and what's also possible to navigate. Um there's so much perfectionism that is, I guess, endorsed from looking at things like Instagram. And we want to be able to bring some more realness to this podcast and to show you what's possible while navigating the real stuff in life. I think a big, I mean, something I talk about a lot, and Becca, I know you are with me on this, is I just don't believe that you can fully compartmentalize business and home life when you work from home. And so that's going to be a big topic of conversation is how do we navigate both? Because you really can't just shut off, you know, home life while you're at work fully. You know, we can do our best. We obviously have a lot of great um, systems and um, and skills that we learn to manage our priorities and our time. But you are the same human being that walks out of morning getting your kids out the door to school and walks into your office to that first meeting or, or to that first hour of work. So how do we manage both and how do we like honor both parts of our lives and let them work with each other instead of against each other. Yeah. Well, touching on that perfectionism piece, the point that we want to make, I mean, my notifications just went off right in the middle of this podcast and uh, who has never been in a meeting when your notifications went off accidentally, right? Um, 
we're going to keep it moving. You're going to hear dogs barking. You're probably going to hear kids crying, screaming, laughing, running in the background. You might hear husbands pop in and ask a question. I mean, this is, we are literally going to bring you real life because it is important for you to see that you do not have to have a perfect home. You do not have to have a perfectly curated background or your life can happen around you Mm. (laughs) and you can still build a really big business that creates a huge impact for the people that you have as customers and clients, but also for your family and for the people that, you know, you want to impact. So that is our goal for this podcast. And we hope that you stick around for the next two episodes. Um, We are each going to be sharing our stories individually, how we got to this point in our business. Um, Some of the milestones that we hit some of the mindset shifts that we had to go through in order to get to this point and really just to let you know what real people we are and what things that we've gone through. So um, we hope that you stick around for the next two episodes and we will see you there.